An Illawarra man born with cystic fibrosis has defied the odds, completing Wollongong's first official marathon over the weekend. What I love about you and your attitude, you can see on the jumper there a lot to talk about. You've got your own podcast and yeah. I guess one of your focus points is about finding the positives, the, thing, the things that you yeah. can do and the things that you can control despite going through the challenges of CF. And he was diagnosed with a disease at 9 and diabetes at 13 and he's turned all of that into something powerful and he's here to share his story with us today. So please welcome Bradley. Thank you. I'm really excited to share my keynote with you all today. It's called Blessed with Bleeding Lungs. Four life-changing moments that have led to four life-changing lessons. Lessons that are centered around these three traits that we call purpose, resilience, and perspective. So what makes an ordinary human being live an extraordinary life? They sat down with their first specialist and this specialist delivered this brutal line to them within moments of meeting them. He said that your son would be better off with a terminal illness that would kill him or he'd get over because cystic fibrosis will ruin his life. That line at the end there, cystic fibrosis will ruin his life. He said it with so much certainty. Now you can imagine what those words do to two parents who have hopes of just having a healthy child. Like as parents, that's all you can hope, that your children get to live a healthy life full of opportunity. So as they hear those words, what my parents do next is the greatest lesson and message I could have ever received in life. And I received it well before I knew it. In that moment, my parents stood up, they walked out of that room, and they said, you'll never see us again. We're going to find a doctor who shares the same positive vision and hopes for our son's future. And in that moment, they taught me an incredible lesson, that what you believe is what you become. My parents believed that I would not be another sad statistic or the prisoner of a hospital bed. They believed that I was destined to do great things, that I was destined to have a healthy future, that cystic fibrosis would not limit or define my life. I'm looking at my old man, one of my best mates, and I'm wondering whether he's going to see me die in the car, whether we're going to get to the hospital in time, whether he's going to get there with me unconscious, have to lift me over his shoulder and carry me in, hoping to God that he's been quick enough but also that there's someone in that doctor's surgery who can save my life. Every man lives two lives. The second begins when he realises he has just one. And in that moment at 18 years of age, I was given an absolute gift. The realisation that, as cliche as it sounds, this is not a dress rehearsal. You do not get a second go at this life. But why do we walk through life with this opinion or feeling or thought that maybe we do, that maybe there's no urgency, we've got time. The truth is we don't. And at 18, I learned that lesson. The 12th of December, 2020, I ran my first marathon with cystic fibrosis. And there's no harm in believing that you're destined to do great things. If I get the gift of today, if I wake up with air in my lungs and a heartbeat, and if I'm bloody lucky enough to do the same thing tomorrow, why wouldn't I try to live a life that's bloody extraordinary? Just remember that you're the author of your own story. Write what you'd wish to read, but remember, your pen will never write what you don't allow your mind to believe. Thank you so much.